everybody has got to make adjustments to whatever the conditions are that they, they forecast to be the case. Uh, we are no different from any other major carrier uh, with regard to what we view the global economy likely to be doing in the next three, five, seven years. At the moment, it is clear that we are in a period of what I would say a contraction. Uh, GDP rates in, com in countries are falling off. Uh, we have trade tensions, et cetera, et cetera. We, we, we know about that. They're well covered in the media. Will this affect demand for air travel? Yes, I believe it will. Whether that'll be a long-term thing, I don't know. What I do see is that there is a major reset going on in the global economy. Um, and they, they will affect demand for air travel. But on the other hand, you see huge advancements in technologies. And technologies are going to take us down a path which I believe will create more demand. Uh, for air travel, and I, I don't, w won't go into the number of reasons I would say that, but I believe in three to five years the global economy will be in a better place, that demand for travel will have increased or re-established or recaptured its growth, which was four to six percent, depending on who you believe, um, and that the industry will be reshaped and realigned to the new way of do, doing things in the global economy. We've got a number of bumps to go through at the moment uh, that I can see. Um, and there will be some that we don't see. But yeah, I think probably by the end of 22, 23, going forward, everybody will be in a much better position. So I remain optimistic. And bearing in mind that aircraft order cycles, from order to actually delivering the aircraft, given the backlogs in, say, single aisle, etc., are sort of three to five years, it kind of fits in with that kind of thinking where the number of aircraft ordered, particularly in the twin, uh, twin aisle, um, will be ready for that, what I believe, a re-establishment of uh, a healthy growth. We have eight or nine more to come. Uh, they will be flying well into the 30s. The uh, fleet will probably stabilize at between 90 and 100 by the middle of the next decade. And uh, from that onwards, we will taper them down slowly um, until the departure of the last aircraft, which has yet to be delivered to us. So the 380 will remain um, a major component of our fleet mix for the next 15 years at least. And, um, and given that, as I mentioned earlier, you have certain routes on our network where we have, for instance, six 380s a day running at 92%, 93%, and don't forget each of these aircraft are carrying 515 people. So where do we go after that? Um, what our concerns is that when the 380 goes and we're still stuck with six slots, we have to put a, a albeit a very nice airplane, the 777-9 on the route, but it's going to be 120, 130 seats lighter in terms of capacity than the 380. So uh, people beyond me will be dealing with those later on. But uh, uh, so it's fairly important that we keep the 380 going as long as we can, given the airport constraints, slot constraints, bilateral constraints that uh, we face at the moment.